Hello everyone and welcome back to my Star Citizen channel. This is gonna be a shorter video, but this topic, I gotta be honest with you, it's got me really excited. This is a massive change in Star Citizen and I just wanted to share it with you. So basically what I have understood and yeah, put together for myself. Quick heads up, I don't have fancy videos or maybe uh, the best footage out there. That's just because I'm a bit tied up with work right now and don't have much time. But my thing has always been trying to explain the concept content as clearly as possible. The content is what matters to me um, and that's probably gonna stay that way going forward. So don't hold it against me uh, if I can't show you a blockbuster movie or have a morphologist level production. But if you want to understand the stuff, that's what I am here for. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, so imagine you are unloading your repeater on a constellation. Full DPS, every shot lands, yet that thing just keeps flying like nothing happened. Then your wingman comes in with a single dead bolts a salvo and suddenly the engines go dark. What just happened? The answer lies in the new penetration system and once you understood this you will evaluate weapons completely differently. Not just DPS and alpha damage anymore but what these weapons can actually do. So what is even penetration? Uh, at its core it's simple. When a projectile uh, breaches your armor it creates a damage cone into the ship's interior. Three values determine what this cone looks like. First the penetration distance. That's the depth, how far the projectile can st uh, still deal damage after impact. A dead ball 5 has 31.5 meters here for example. That means if it gets uh, through it can theoretically damage everything and it's passed through half a ship. For comparison an attrition 3 repeater only has 0.75 meters. Almost nothing happens behind the armor. Uh, second near radius and far radius. This describes the wide of the cone. At the impact point you have the near radius, at the end of penetration the far radius. The larger these values, the more components can be hit simultaneously. A laser cannon typically has a narrow deep cone, precise but deep. A scattergun on the other hand has a wide but shallow cone, lots of spread but not much depth. And last but not least, the max penetration thickness. That's the maximum armor thickness that can be penetrated. Currently almost all weapons have 0.5 meters here and yeah but this could change in the future and may um, and make certain weapons better against heavily armored chips. Now it gets interesting. When we analyze the data we see uh, clear patterns. Ballistic cannons are the penetration kings. The deadbolt series from Esperia dominates here completely. A uh, size 3 deadbolt has 6.75 meters penetration. A size 5 hits a whopping 31.5 meters. That's more than any other weapon class. And it gets even crazier with capital ship weapons. The Deadbolt size 6 reaches 40.5 meters. The Conqueror 7, which is a size 7 weapon, hits 45 meters. And then there is the Destroyer Mass Driver at size 10. That one has over 107 meters of penetration distance. It basically shoots straight through an entire hammerhead. What does this mean practically? If you want to destroy internal components, power plants, coolers, quantum drives, ballistic cannons are your best choice. Laser repeaters on the other hand are pure surface weapons. The attrition series, uh, the CF Bulldog line, all have penetration distances under 1 meter at small sizes. Even the size 6 attrition only gets to 4.5 meters, that's less than a size 3 deadbolt. That doesn't mean repeaters are bad, they are perfect for wearing down armor, but don't expect them to quickly knock out critical systems. Gatlings are somewhere in between. The Revenant for example has 4.5 meters penetration at size 4, the big ones like the AD6B or Draga at size 6 reach 13.5 meters. Not as deep as a cannon but with the high rate of fire you hit more often and each hit has a chance to get through. And scatter guns play a different game. The Dominant 3 only has 0.6 meters penetration distance but the near radius of 5.2 meters and the far radius of 6.5 meters. That's a wide cone. The size 6 condemnation even has 9.1 meters near radius and 11.4 meters far radius. That's a massive damage area even though penetration is only at 5 meters. In practice this means against large ships with many exposed components on the outer hull, scatter guns can be brutally effective. Against small fighters 
letters with uh, compact layouts, less so. Okay, uh, theory is cool, but what does this mean for your loadout? Well, there are three scenarios. Scenario 1, you are hunting small fighters. Here penetration barely matters. The ships are so small that even a shallow cone hits everything. Take whatever brings DPS, repeaters, gatlings, whatever. Uh, scenario 2, you are fighting large ships like hammerheads, connies or Carrack. Here penetration becomes critical, with repeaters you are just scratching the surface. Ballistic cannons like the Deadbolt or C788 can shoot directly into the engine room and yeah, knock out systems. And scenario 3, which is a mixed combat. That's reality for most of us. My tip, combine both, repeaters or gatlings for sustained DPS and shield pressure plus one or two cannons for the finishing move or on critical systems. An example, uh, on a vanguard you could keep no scatling for consistent damage but mount dead bolts on the wings. When shields are down, switch to the cannons and aim for engines or power plant. Now here is the exciting part, the system isn't finished yet. CIG is working on different armor thicknesses for different ships and ship sections. Imagine a hammerhead has 0.3 meters of armor on the bridge, but 0.3 8 meters on the engine room. Suddenly you need specific weapons to penetrate certain areas. That would make a weapon choice even more tactical. And then look at the capital ship weapons. An RSI Medusa at size 8 has 67.5 meters of penetration. It's designed to tear apart other capital ships from inside out. The destroyer mass driver at size 10 with over 107 meters. That's basically a surgical instrument against large warships. The engineering up is just the beginning and penetration will be a central part of it, especially when we eventually see real fleet battles with Javelin versus Javelin. So that's the penetration mechanic, um, Yeah, quick summary, don't just look at DPS. Penetration distance determines whether you are actually dealing damage or just scratching the surface, A ballistic cannons for deep penetration, repeaters for shield pressure and yeah, armor shredding. If this video helped you out, drop a like and yeah, write in the comments what weapon combos you are gonna test now and yeah, hopefully we will see each other next time. Ciao!